Hey everyone, this is J-Dog, and I'm here with another video. Uh, I was looking at a tweet from Blocka Zulu, and shout out to Blocka Zulu. He said, reasons why I homeschool my children, number 5,632. Now, why would he have to say something about that? That's because of what happened to another individual, not him, but this individual. Um, I don't know the father's name, but this happened actually months ago, but it's very important because this shows you how the school system treats not only the, our black children, but also the black parents of those children. This father was denied access to go to his school after being notified that his seven-year-old son was being detained in handcuffs after alleged classroom altercation. Now, I'm going to... um do this and we're going to hear from the man himself on this video I'm I'm up at Florida Florida Pitt Walker. Fresh, fresh up the hills, hills is doing a video about kids black children, children being criminalized in this uh, school, school district, district. I'm, I'm at, at my son's school, school Florida, Florida Pitt Pitt Wilder, right? right I just, I just received a call from, from the security, security at Florida Pitt Wallet, Wallet, which is a K through eight school. All right. Now, now we're at outside of the school where they, they have police cars lined up for a situation that happened here. here. I, I get, get a call, call uh, from, from security up here at Florida Pitt Wallet saying my son had an altercation inside of a classroom with another student. student. He's seven, seven years old. Seven, Seven years, years old, my son. son. And, and they, they called me to tell me that they had to restrain him in handcuffs. My seven-year-old son. Now they won't let me inside the building. I was met at the door by police. Denver police. All right? Look at this squad car number. Denver police. Look at that squad. Yeah, they're here. They met me at the door, told me I can't come in. I'm, I'm waiting for them to bring you my son. My son is seven years old, young black male, already been ex uh, has experience being put in handcuffs. This is egregious. This is completely unacceptable, and I am pissed off right now. They need to hurry up and get my son and bring him out of that school. Right? Shame on Kayla Grayson. Shame, Shame on, on the entire staff inside, inside of this school building. building. Shame, Shame on the DPS. There is never a situation that calls for putting a step in your own handcuff. Never. And, and you got, got my son in there in handcuffs. Y'all better, better hurry up and bring, bring my fucking son out this school. school. I'm, I'm not fucking playing with y'all. This is what they do to our children. And, and then they want to criminalize me in the process and, and tell me that I'm not welcome. Alright, you see, uh, basically it was, I'm about to enlarge this again, but this is, yep, he is exactly right. This is what they do to our children and this school system. So, yep, they are trying to basically do everything to destroy our children in this racist school system. All he wanted to know was what was going on with his son and why his son was being handcuffed and they wouldn't even allow him to go into the school. They, You hear the stories of saying that black fathers don't exist. Well, this man was a black father trying to be there for his son and they wouldn't even let him go near his ch children. I also found out that there are, there's actually more black fathers that m black fathers are most, are more likely to always be with their children more than any other father of any other, um, particular, uh, race. But yet you got this, this media, the school system saying that black fathers are not around. But why? Because they want to do everything to destroy our children and destroy our children's mindset. It's, I mean, they, it's bad enough that the school system dociles black children, destroys the mindset, but now they're using police brutality, um, handcuffing children. 
And then this, uh, then you hear about this school to prison pipeline. This is exactly what this, the, what the seven year old son of his is, um, victim to. Um, now, Block of Zulu actually retweeted this particular video from someone called Police Brutality with the cross sign. Um, this is the actual tweet from Police Brutality. Shout out to Africa Must Wait police brutality what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually this is um leave the link to the tweet for y'all to see on your own time um but hopefully things uh, this happened actually months ago but i hopefully things are a lot better now that he's able to see his son and figure out what to do what he probably needs to also do is um do what Block of Zulu does and homeschool his kids will just get them out of that school and find them another school or, or homeschool because this school system seems to have negative things to do to our children and it needs to stop. But, um, yeah, this is a problem. But I want to know what you think in the comment section. Like I said, I'll leave the link to this particular tweet that it will include this video in the description box and comment section. I want to know what y'all think in the comment section. Um, make sure you like, share this video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and hit that notification bell if you haven't. And that's all I have to say for now. This is J Dog. Thank you for watching, and I hope to catch y'all in another video. Peace, everyone.